the Duchess of Westminster Handicap Chase is next. We're at Bangor. This is not heavy going. And it's a three mile nought to one thirty. At the top we've got a Castor Malbus for Darren Thompson. Twisted Road, Leon Van Rensburg, Liberty Bell, Jim Murray, Edmund John Morgan, October Cat, Graham Clutterbuck, Armageddon, Martin Needham, Ozark Slide, Vinnie Gerard, Pols Hay, James Shea has also got Inspirano Relief. And Romantic Liaison for Obi Wan is the bottom one of the ten. Ten to face the start then. And Romantic Liaison a little bit behind the others as they start. And towards the first in these testing conditions with Ozark slide leading them into the first which they all got over okay although Twisted Road well, Leon by Rensburg didn't jump in very well at all and this horse in a previous race didn't jump well on so we were surprised there but it's Acaster Malbus then who settled down into the lead and leads by two lengths into the second of the 18th which they're all safer to the other side of with Acaster Malbis, the clear leader is a short run to the third, which is a ditch. All got over that nicely with Armageddon jumping one on the outside, moving up into the third. But it's Acaster Malbis that leads from Paul's Hay, who's about three lengths back in second. Over on the far rail is Liberty Bell. Closest to us is Armageddon, the grey is Edmund. And alongside that one is Inspirina Relief, with over on the rail the yellow jacketed romantic liaison. Ozark Slide is next to that one, then the Leon Van Rensburg yellow cap of Twisted Road. And finally, October Cat. Well, Graham puts a look at the back as they get to number four. A mistake there by Jim Morris. But he won't have seen it because he'll have fast forwarded through this bit. A Castor Malbis is the leader as they get down to number five. And they're all safely over that one with A Castor Malbis clear in front. Five, six lengths to Paul's Hay in second. And Inspirina Relief has moved through to third. And they're getting closest to us as they get over this ditch. Which again, they're all over nicely. And that's a third of the jumping done now. And A Castor Malbis is six lengths clear of Pogs Hay second. And Inspirina Relief about two and a half lengths back in third. And over on the rail, Liberty Bell as they take this plain one. And up on the Geddens after that, then the Grey Edmund. We get Ozark sliding the green jacket. And Romantic Liaison in the yellow. And October Cat is next. And Twisted Road, the Leon van Rensburg charge is now the back marker. But it's Acaster Malbis who will take this turn with a lead of six lengths. To Pons Hay in second. Acaster Malbis trying to do it from the front in the heavy going top weight as well. He's asking a lot of this one. Uh, Acaster Malbis though is in the lead by six. To Pons Hay in second as they get to this plain one. Which again they're all over nicely. Liberty Bell has now moved into third, Armageddon's fourth, then Edmund and Inspirina Relief on the rail with Romantic Liaison behind that one. Ozark slide alongside it, then October Cat, and finally Twisted Road, the order pretty much the same as they get to the next, which they all get over nicely again. With a Castor Malbis enjoying an undisputed lead. There's just about a mile and a half still to go, past the winning post then, with a complete circuit. Of the track ahead of them. And a Castor Malbus seems to be going well in the lead at the moment. Paul's Hay now only four lengths down in second with Armageddon in third lengths, Inspirina Relief and Liberty Ballers attack the next one. Good jump there by Armageddon, seeing it jump through into second. Edmund is the grey, that one's closest to us as they make their way towards the next. A Castor Malbus is lead down to a little more than four. Armageddon second. Oh, and the leader went right through that one. He really went going an almighty walloping. And the lead is now down to a length as I take this ditch. He jumped that one much better though. And got away from it well. Armageddon is second. Then the similar colours of Poles, Hay and Inspirina relief together. With Ozark slide between the two of them. Edmund on the outside. Twisted Road's getting closer. Liberty Bell's dropped back a little bit. And then October Cat and Romantic Leo's on just as beginning to get a little bit detached at the back. But it's still Acaster Malvis inside the final mile now, leading by two to Armageddon second. Ozark slide third, Edmund getting closer on the outside fourth, jump that one nicely. They all got over that one well. And Romantic Liaison is beginning to get back in touch as well. They're beginning to bunch as they get to the 14th. And there's a faller there, Ozark slide's gone. Now Ozark slide is out of the race as Acaster Malvis being driven 
by the pilot with Armageddon right behind in second, then Polte and then Edmund. Then comes in Spirina Relief. Over that ditch they go and Armageddon's hit the front. So Armageddon takes it up then there from A. Castamalvis who's fighting back on the inside, wants to try and regain that lead. Polte, Liberty Bell, Edmund still going well. Then October Cat is next. After that one comes in Spirina Relief, Twisted Row, this is still wide open, this one on A, Castor Malvis has got back into the lead again from Armageddon in second, now Twisted Row moves into third, then comes Edmund, with Liberty Bell on the inside as well, still wide open, A, Castor Malvis, top weight on the inside from Armageddon, on the outside in second, then comes Liberty Bell, Poles Hay, October Cat, Edmund, and Twisted Road all in with a chance. In Spirina Relief and Romantic Liaison look the only two beaten as they make their way towards home. And now they've got two more to take. Armageddon closest to us. A Castor Malvis on the rail, being chased by Liberty Bell in third. Then comes October Cat fourth. Poles Hayes next over the second last. And it's Armageddon in front. Liberty Bell comes to challenge. A Castor Malvis has given up the ghost. Then comes October Cat. Then comes Poles Hay. Edmund is still trying to get into it. They've got one more to take. And it's Armageddon on the inside of Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell is now going on into the lead by length over the final fence. Liberty Bell, Edmund on the outside, Armageddon on the inside. It's going to be a head bomber. This one then race inside the final half. Well, Armageddon on the inside. Jockey had to stop riding. It's Armageddon, Liberty Bell, Edmund, and it's going to be Liberty Bell. I think it's going to take it. Liberty Bell wins it from Edmund and Armageddon. Twisted road and poles high, and Liberty Bell's won it. Jim Murray put the video back on in time. And there's a steward's inquiry. I'm not surprised, but Armageddon was definitely hampered. And he's been thrown out, Liberty Bell. I'm not surprised that he's been thrown out because definitely Armageddon stopped riding. But the one that's gained from that is John Morgan and Edmund, who ended up second. So a bit of a fortunate winner there for John Morgan with Edmund taking Armageddon for Martin Lydon was second. That was all that was hampered. Poles Hay for James Shea was third. Twisted Road for Leon Van Rensburg was fourth. October Cat for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth. And Jim Murray's Liberty Bell thrown out for causing interference.